This is Bill Grimmett. I'm about to light the smoker and then do a hive inspection. on top. This is an entrance reducer, which uh, you can uh, uh, vary the, the uh, entrance into the hive so that the bees can go either more easily or less easily. Queen excluder, which is put between the hive box and the honey supers to keep the queen from going up into the honey supers. And this is a honey super, which I do not have on the hive at the moment. but. Uh, be very shortly I'll be putting the uh, honey super on. This is the lid, or the outer cover, and I have a, I have some uh, feed on here, syrup and jars, so they are inside this deep hive body. And I'm taking the. Uh, rather calm today but they haven't in the last several days haven't always been so this is the inner cover here you may be able to see that I have a small amount of pollen substitute on top and a uh, Swiffer sheet for capturing small hive beetle. This is a deep 
pie box that I use for the brood box. You may be able to see some uh, small hive beetles that have been caught in that. This is a frame for the deep body and you can see that there is some wax drawn out on this uh, frame on a plastic foundation. We have some honey here on this frame. In this area and some nectar down in this area here. And these are worker bees, female worker bees. Some of them house bees. I suppose all of them house bees on this frame. This frame here has nothing in it. I'm putting it back, leaving it in the same position. nectar and some bee bread in this area here is bee bread and there's most of it yellow there's a few red ones here is a bee with some uh, pollen on her hind legs Same thing on this side. Pollen, bee bread, nectar. Whoop, wait a minute, I think I see some. Uh, I may see some brood in there. Maybe not. I would like to find the queen. It's unlikely that I will find any drones this early in the year. Drone brood. You can see the drone brood because it is uh, <laughs> it 
capped up higher than the regular brood. And there is larvae in there that has not been capped yet. That's a good bit of drone brood. Drone, uh, yeah. There is larvae in, in uh, several of these here. There's some small larvae there. Very small larvae right there. And there is some eggs. The eggs are just, um, probably do not show up on the camera, but the eggs are just very small, smaller than a rice grain, but similar in shape and appearance. Looking for the queen, but I don't see her. Let's move on down the line. The queen would be longer than the workers, and her abdomen is longer, and the sticks out beyond her wings more so than with the uh, with the others. The drones are actually the largest. They're heavier bodied, but not longer than the queen. And one way to recognize them is their large eyes, which cover up most of their head. But again, there's not likely to be any drones this early. Here is some capped brood right in here and some uh, bee bread up at the top which is made from uh, pollen, pollen. I'm looking for the queen. More brood. Takes concentration to see that queen. There's some more larvae and there's some eggs right there. More larvae and more eggs. So the queen has been at work. Well, that's good. That is good. And it may be that I need to move some other frames over towards the center. Maybe not quite yet. Still, still having cool nights. So we don't want to. Uh, make a situation where the brood gets chilled. Pretty good bit of drawn brood on this frame here and there, there's some larvae, young larvae, and
not seeing the queen. But I've seen plenty of signs that the queen is in there. Well, if I don't see her on this one, I'll put it back up. Drawn brood, bee bread, nectar, larvae. Don't see her. So this is a, this is all I'm going to do right now. Well, I don't see her in, in this uh, in this frame. Uh, I know she's in there. I just saw the egg. And uh, one thing I did not mm -hmm. identify yet is uh, propolis, which is here up on top and around the edges. That they they uh, seal up everything they can with propolis. That's all for now.